She's one of fiction's best-known characters, but the story of Heidi and her grandfather has become a window into the Swiss mountain landscape. It's been well over a hundred years since Johanna Spiri's bestseller was first published, and her stories of rural life still attract more than 150,000 tourists every year to the village of Meinfeld in Graubünden, where Heidi is set. That adds up to 6 million Swiss francs to the local economy. With Heidi, you have always three generations, the children, the parents and the grand, uh, grandparents, yes. And then they are here, you go to Zurich, to Luzern, Jungfrau Joch and all those make a journey and they spend money and this is interesting for the economy. Speary stories have inspired countless musicals, animations and even films. But undoubtedly, it's the Japanese 52-part animated cartoon, Heidi, Girl of the Alps, that led her to become a global phenomenon. And now the Swiss National Museum in Zurich is showing Heidi in Japan. The anime creators first visited Meinfeld in 1973 to gather inspiration for their work. At that time, it was very difficult to go to Europe and other foreign countries. We can only try to imagine how the people were. So when we had to make the characters for Heidi, we really did not know what kind of people the Swiss were. We only had a few pictures and postcards to work with. In Japan, we had some kind of fascination about Switzerland, and we wanted to transmit that fascination to the rest of the world. More than 40 years later, it's through their work that many people learn about Switzerland. And for that, creator Yuichi Kotabe has been nominated as an honorary citizen of the Heidi village. Other countries, they come to Switzerland, they want to go and visit, but they think primarily of, of the countryside, of Heidi walking in the meadows, the, Joseph the dog running around and so forth. And of course, uh, sometimes they're happy and, and get what they expect and not, other times not. So uh, it, for tourism also, it, it's, it's vitally important that we have this window of the anime Heidi uh, so in, in that enables people from across the world to come and visit Switzerland. And this is something the canton is hoping to capitalize on. In the next three years, 10 million Swiss francs will be spent on the expansion of Heidedorf. 20% of that investment will be put up by the canton, the rest from investors. So it seems from Heidi's humble beginnings in the late 19th century, her future is looking very bright indeed. <laughs>